Welcome to Eat, Drink, and Explore with Cece. Today we are going to make a really simple cucumber onion salad. It is summer, it's hot, don't want to turn on the stove, don't want to turn on the oven, and have a bunch of people coming over, what can you make? Well, I have been lately obsessed with cucumber, and so I thought I would show you what I normally put together. And to prepare this cu cucumber onion salad, it practically takes you minutes. I mean, of course, minus the salting time, and I'll talk about that, um, of what I did with the cucumbers in a second. But I mean, again, again, it can be served for your barbecues, your picnics, you can take to lunch. It's so easy um, to, to, to put together. So, uh, all right, so let's take a look at uh, what we're doing. So this is a cucumber. I would suggest, I highly recommend you use one of those Persian or English cucumbers. They're long and thin and you've got very like limited seeds in there. And what I did is I cut the uh, cucumber in half and then I quartered it and then I sliced them in a bias, in a diagonal for a quarter inch thick. Then what you want to do is you just want to salt them with half a teaspoon of sea salt. And what we're doing here is we're trying to abstract as much liquid as we can from the, um, from the cucumber. And so let's see how much water. See down here, see all that water? We don't, we're trying to get that. See all that water? We're trying to get that out of the salad. And then what you want to do is transfer it to a plate, pat dry it with a paper towel, and then throw it into a bowl. So let's go through the simplicity of this salad. I mean, it's super, super simple, and it's definitely something that you will want to repeat over and over again. And what I'm doing is I'm including this um, this salad because you can change it up with different ingredients that you want. But I wanted to keep it simple. Cucumber is so refreshing in the summer, especially uh, to combat heat. It's also very low in calories and it's got several vitamins and minerals and tons of water content to keep us hydrated uh, for the summer. So feel free to change this up. But when you combine the cucumbers with like tangy onions, there's something magical about about this. The simple sweet and sour of a lemon and the olive oil all mixed together it just sort of like dances on your tongue. That's how I feel about my salad. <laughs> so what I have here is I have a cup of slivered purple onions. If you have a very large onion just make sure you just cut your slivers in half. Um, I tried to do that there and I have here about half a cup of radishes. They were like two size radishes. I got these from the farmer's market. They're just so divinely fresh. Oh, lovely in there. And then I've already poured out uh, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and we've got three and a half ounces of orange, sorry, three and a half ounces of lemon juice. And we have a half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Again, I don't want it to be too salty and I don't want it to be too peppery. I want that sweet tanginess to come through. And then we've got a tablespoon of flat leaf parsley. But now the star of the show is honey. This is what is going to make this salad dance for you. And I picked this honey up at the farmer's market and this is a summer honey. So it is a very light, very floral, as you can see the color. You don't want a, a heavy honey on this one. So you, you want to look at maybe a honey that's wildflower or daffodils um, in through there. That's perfect. And so you're going to need two tablespoons of honey to do the vinaigrette. All right, so let's combine this. So let's go ahead and get some room. Okay, and I'm going to check again if I have any liquid. Nope, I'm good. The magic of the salad is you want to make it and then you want to stick it in the fridge at least a half an hour before you serve it to, get to your guests. And we're going to throw in the onions. <laughs> this is what I love about summer cooking. It's literally chop and dump. And these are too big, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut them. I don't like them too big. 
But I do love the I love the um, the color contrast of green and purple. Two of my favorite colors, and of course yellow. And we've got the radishes. The radishes I slice them in different thicknesses. Some are very thin. Some are some are a little crunchy. This is gonna add some crunch to your salad. And then I just kind of just stick my fingers in there and just move them around. Now, you could also chop up some, any type of herbs that you like in here. I'm keeping mine super simple, but this goes really well with mint. You could do like uh, four tablespoons of mint or uh, dill in here. Perfect. All right, so let's do the vinaigrette. And we're going to pour in the honey. Don't be shy of using honey in your dressings. It just, it adds such wonderful depth to your dressings. Look in the finger. Good. Salt and pepper. And so what I do now is kind of mix this together before I add in the lemon juice. Now, if you are not interested in um, using lemon juice and you wanted to use like a vinegar uh, per se you could definitely substitute that apple cider rice wine vinegar totally up to you and so we're just gonna slowly add this in because you have the honey in there you definitely want to make sure it's more liquefied oops I got a couple of pips there you can definitely make the salad in advance. I recommend storing the chopped, the chopped vegetables in an airtight container. And then what you do, um, you can do that for a couple of days, right? And then you can add the dressing 30 to 60 minutes before you're ready to serve. So you can see how the lemon juice has sort of made that more liquid. So what we want to do now, mix this. And you'll be surprised how this simple cucumber and onion salad is so refreshing having it with a side as a side for burgers for barbecue chicken it cuts through the grease of whatever you're eating if you wanted to you could throw in some feta cheese in here but what I love is I just love all the colors I don't necessarily want to add in a dairy component to this then I don't have to worry about it when I'm putting it outside and people are eating because there's no dairy in it. I don't have to keep it cooled. You need to stay at room temperature. And that is how easy this salad is. And you will be surprised on how tasty it will be. You know what? I think I changed my mind. I'm going to chop up some dill and put some dill in so give me a second okay so I chopped up about a tablespoon of dill but let me give this a try first for seasonings mm, that's nice there's enough salt but what I want to do is I want to add in a little bit of dry thyme to add that Mediterranean flavor and I'm going to throw in the dill and then the salad Let's put this in the fridge and then we'll have it from there. So you can see the dressing down here. I don't, know, I don't know if you guys can see that, so give me a second. So, do you see the dressing? So good. And you don't taste the sweetness like, like the, you would think, oh, honey is going to be so cloying in that. Not at all, it's because the summer honey is so light and flavorful and we'll let the flavors all marinate together in the fridge for about an hour or so and we'll give it a try I'm just going to just for presentation purposes <laughs> add in and then we'll add in some parsley get them all mixed over I 
think those colors so good together. The purple from the onion, the reddish red from the radish, the green from the cucumber. So good. All right, so let's go put that in the fridge. We'll come back to it when it's ready. So there you have it. I prepared this cucumber onion salad. It's practically done in minutes. Of course, I told you you need just to salt the cucumbers for about 10 minutes with a bit of salt and then remove the, the liquid from it before you mix it in. And then, you know, it's mixed with the lemon juice and the honey and the salt and the pepper is just enough to have that beautiful tangy sweetness that will work so well with some barbecued hamburgers or chicken or um, pork chops or kebabs. Whatever you have on the barbecue will work really well. It also works really well for a summer salad. I've had this summer salad and then I made a side um, serving of chicken salad and served that on the side. It was lovely as well. So definitely worth giving that a try. So let's go ahead and give this a taste. See if we can build the perfect bite. Mmm, that's summer. Definitely. And it's nice and cold from being in the fridge. It's so refreshing in the mouth. Oh, that is definitely a try. You guys have to try this. Again, so easy to make, so refreshing, and it gets you to use all the summer vegetables. If you had a garden, all your garden vegetables could be utilized. Or if you go to the farmers, uh, farmer market stands, like I do, I love going to farmer markets <laughs> in the summer. It's always so much fun. So there you guys have it, a very simple cucumber onion salad, enough to cleanse the palate, give you something to crunch on. It's nice and cold, it's low calorie, as I had mentioned uh, before, and the honey adds the sweetness and the onions add the tang in there. So there you have it, folks. The simple cucumber onion salad. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's always greatly appreciated. If you have not yet subscribed, by all means consider hitting the subscribe button. It will really help us promote our channel across the board to more enthusiasts like yourselves trying to grow this channel and have more enthusiasts join us and participate. Hit the like button, hit the bell notification, and add a comment in. Tell us where you're from. What you like, uh, you know, what you like about the dish, what you didn't, how did you change it up when you made it? So thank you once again. Have a wonderful day. Happy summer. Ciao for now. Bye.